I wanted to share a couple of tips for this weekend as we're heading into the sort of final countdown of the eclipse happening on Monday, April the 8th. And Spirit brought a lot of awareness this morning about certain things that we should and shouldn't be doing during this eclipse. And so a few things I'm going to mention here that I would strongly recommend that you don't engage in over this weekend. And one of those things would be alcohol or any form of mind altering substances. This energy is extremely intense right now. And as we are moving into the intensity, and as this intensity is building, it's really reshaping us from the inside out. It is really allowing certain spiritual gifts, certain frequencies to be activated within us. And so it's very, very important to stay mindful of that. So I just wanted to share these tips so that you can really take maximum advantage of the powerful transformative energy that this eclipse is bringing us because this eclipse is really truly about transforming our lives in a very, very big way. This is a very powerful month and this alignment is extremely powerful, especially with Chiron in the mix. This is about deep healing, like really deep healing, healing that is and has been trapped in your subconscious mind. So the other point I want to mention here is to make sure that you're really paying attention to your dreams. Are you having any weird kind of crazy dreams right now? If you are, I would strongly recommend that you journal, write them out, uh, document your dreams with as much detail as possible because you will look back on these later and you're going to recognize the fear patterns, certain very deep fear patterns that are being revealed to you through these dreams right now. I know for myself personally, I've been having like really crazy, very detailed, very vivid dreams the last three nights now. And I've been writing every single one of those dreams down because it's been so bizarre. And some of them were just so scary that it's totally out of the norm for me. I don't usually have bad dreams like this, but I've been waking up consistently at like around six in the morning every day for like the last three days from these really weird, I want to say kind of almost dark, um, very scary dreams. So if you're having those right now, if you're experiencing this, then just know it is this eclipse. It's Chiron being activated within you, within your chart. And it's Chiron is activating those super deep seated, very subconscious fears that we are unaware of. And it's coming up for our awareness for us to realize what is still stuck within us and what fears are still dormant within us. So as you're remembering these dreams and writing them out, make sure that you reflect on how it's like what kind of fear is this actually connected to within me? Because I had really deep awareness of that as I was writing these out. And it was just like this aha moment. I'm like, oh my God, I know exactly what this connects to. So there were some really deep fears around safety and security. And I think the other thing might be is that we're also all of us picking up on collective energy. And so there's a lot of fear around this eclipse time right now because there are a lot of different videos and a lot of different information about what this eclipse symbolizes and what it means. And I know here in the Niagara region for us in Ontario, Canada, there, you know, they declared like a state of emergency for this eclipse, which is bizarre, right? So <laughs> I'm not surprised that a lot of fear energy would be very present with this eclipse happening right now. So that actually kind of brings me to my next point, which Spirit was showing me that it's very important to actually stay away from crowds right now. So if you would like to watch the solar eclipse, I would recommend that you just do it if you can. And if you have the visibility at the safety of your own home, don't really go out. Stay away from crowded or public areas at this time or over this weekend. It's not going to necessarily play out all that well. 
uh, if you go out simply because of the energies and the intensity that it's going to be bringing up in certain people. And if you're someone who is definitely on the spiritual path and you're, you know, really working on your shadow aspects and have been working on your shadow aspects and things like that, then it, it will absolutely serve you best to stay away from crowds, to stay away from sort of the general public, because many people don't work on their shadow, they don't work on themselves. And so their level of consciousness, their frequency and their vibration is going to very much impact those that are on the journey. So I just wanted to share that because it's really important to stay mindful and to protect our energy at this time, to really stay away from people as much as possible stay within your own bubble. As a matter of fact, sort of imagine this beautiful golden light around you or pink light or whatever color you want to imagine that feels good to you. And just imagine that protecting you and keeping you safe and keeping your energy very safe. Because our energy is something that is sort of continuously exchanged with the world, right? And so the more people that you spend time around, the more you're sharing your energy, the more you're actually giving your energy away. And you know, is it like any wonder why so many people feel tired after hanging out with certain people or after being in big crowded places? So I personally do not like crowds. I never have. Um, and I tend to, tend to just stay away from crowds as much as possible. I will be watching the eclipse definitely. And I will be watching it uh, from here, from my home. And uh, yeah, and just... Kind of keeping to myself, uh, definitely meditate, definitely tune in to what kind of fears are being released within you right now as Chiron is, is really pushing everything to the surface to be revealed for you to see it so that you can process it and let it go. And so that you can get over certain fears that are just crumbling away now that are really irrelevant and that are just holding you back in your life unnecessarily. So I wanted to just share these few points because it's very important right now for everyone to stay conscious, particularly for those people that are truly on, on this path of awakening and people that really want to have a really good year this year, because this eclipse is definitely bringing massive transformation, massive, massive, like I cannot highlight enough how big of a change this eclipse is bringing but you also have to be in like the right frequency and the right energy you have to be in a state of peace and calm and and in a in a sense of like safety and security within yourself so if you take measures and do the right things to like i said avoid alcohol to avoid crowds to avoid even being around many people or even any people you know, if you can avoid those things and just kind of keep to yourself for this weekend and, and you know, be within your own energy and focus on the healing that is really, truly trying to come through for you, then you're going to have a very, very positive experience on the other side of this eclipse. So, which is very exciting. It's very motivating and inspiring. It's going to take you to another level. And we are in the middle stages right now of a massive upgrade of a massive ascension. So, uh, and transition up into a higher timeline. So that's why I'm saying like, it's important to keep yourself safe. It is important to keep yourself at peace and healthy and happy uh, during this time, particularly this weekend so that you can experience this eclipse. And so that you can experience this entire weekend with as much peace and as much calm as possible. And the more that you are at peace and the more that you are calm this weekend, the better your results are going to be. So that's my message for this coming up weekend. I wish you all a beautiful weekend and stay safe and stay blessed. I'll see you in the next one.